that our sunny summer day here in the heart of Paris. Bandung Square, since years, hosts all the best jewelry brands, but today we will open the door of one of them. We will have a talk with the artistic director, we will see the new collection, and we will discover more about the history of this legendary brand. The staircase uh, takes the shape of diamond and it was imagined and created by the designer himself. Now we are waiting for Lawrence. He will come down from his office and we will talk to him. He will make us discover all the new pieces and we will talk about all the inspirations. Guys, as I promised to you, we have a very interesting occasion today and very special person nearby me, Laurence, will speak to us. He will tell us more about his inspirations and we will discover the new collection with him. So, hi, thank you for welcoming us. Real pleasure being here. And I can see that your boutique changed a little bit its face. Yes, absolutely. We've recently done quite a few changes which are visible, like the boutique, more accessible, very comfortable. We want you to feel at home when you come to visit us here at 19 Place Vendôme. Hello, my name is Lorenz Borimer. I'm a jeweler and I'd love to welcome you to my store, 19 Place Vendôme in Paris. You can make yourself happy, you can make others happy. We've also created a fragrance with my favorite smells, which are mixed like in a blender, like in a cocktail. And that's the new, uh, the new perfume, actually our first one, which we will be launching very soon. It's a very special bottle for now. It's in glass and you have a diamond pen on which you can write something. So each bottle is personalized. And the staircase is a very important part because it's like cut like a diamond with all the facets. And of course we made it in mirrors so you have a maximum reflection of light. So many interesting objects here in the shop, though it makes really feel you like home. Hey, this is the Mikado bracelet. Here we have all the different colors. This is very interesting also from a design point of view because we designed it as a 3D print on the computer. You have very extraordinary tourmalines. I also did this to show all the different colors which you might be here. And, um, and this one, if you press on the little yellow button, the wings open and inside here, special material where the perfume will sink into the body. You know, it's holes inside. It's a 3D printing, so it's a very modern technology of manufacturing. Now we will see how the piece of jewelry is born. It starts always by an idea, I guess, after it's a drawing. Tell us more, please. So it's exactly how you go. You have like a creative flash because you get inspired in one way or another. Like for instance, a special technique, like a little sketch, which will be, for instance, like a phrase, or I did one, for instance, where it's a heart, but it's not the heart in the shape, it's the real heart. So it's an anatomical drawing of a heart and you can give your heart to somebody that you love. I know that there are also a lot of insects in your collections, like spiders and flies. There is something interesting about this part of uh, your creativity. I, I love insects. I think they're quite fascinating because they're like prehistoric, very modern, very interesting in shape. You like to surf and there is very interesting beach collection with seashells. Uh, from which part of the world, from which ocean or from which sea did you gather it, uh, all this inspiration? So it's generally, you know, I love to surf, so any ocean with waves will be good. I try to make jewelry that's happy and that makes also people happy. You wanted to make a sketch of a piece, especially for me. Yes. I have this privilege today. You are a very inspiring person and you are, of course, good girl, bad girl. So because jewelry is also about technique, about being comfortable, about seeing how things are. The idea is when you design something, you help people express who they are. Or so I started doing this when I was a small kid. Actually, it came to me, the world of jewelry, because my parents were diplomats. So it was my mother during the day and then she would go out and she would represent her country and she would wear the jewelry. And so my mother became like a princess when she was wearing the jewelry. And as a small kid, I always wanted to have the magic stick that turns women into princess.
and there is also a very young line how you personally describe the client of your jewelry house and the client of my jewelry house is a client that knows jewelry quite well that has been to many places and is now interested in meeting a smaller house where you can meet a creative person and that's mostly driven by the creation not the marketing the 400 stores the stock in real uh, how much it is you know this is a house about making yourself happy